We just out here rapping for the section. They was hating, now they want onto my guest list. Oh god, this new operator? I know your sub boxes are just filled with this guy right now, but he's just too good to pass up. So in case you're unfamiliar, Ubisoft just released a teaser for this new operator named Definitely Not Spanish Soldier 76. Just kidding, his name's Jackal, but he is awfully reminiscent of Soldier 76. I mean, that's a pretty analogous comparison with a tactical visor. All the way down to that ring in the middle of your screen when you activate the special ability? Don't tell me that's not similar. I've got you in my sights. Oh, wait, wait. Jackal's actually speaking in Spanish in this clip, so I guess it would be closer to something like His special ability is that he's able to activate a tactical visor and see footprints of the enemy, almost like every operator on the opposing team is running around with invisible ink on their boots, and he's the only one with the magic mark. Tactical visor activated. Although I do think it's a creative idea, I also have some thoughts. First off, I imagine it's gonna be a lot more fun to fool around with Jackal than it is to actually play as Jackal himself. That's pretty neat. Now, hordes of players have already started talking about a new walking backwards meta where you navigate the map by backpedaling to confuse this guy as to where you actually walked, but I think things are gonna be a lot more complicated than that. Like, even if you take that prediction seriously, you can't sprint backwards, so I don't know if that argument holds a whole lot of weight. I'm also not sure if Ubisoft is somehow trying to silently nerf Caviar by introducing Jackal as a counter, because even if she's silent, if Jackal can see her footprints, that significantly cuts down on the cheese she can dish out. Now, it's not as if I have anything against Caviar mains, but if I were to ask you guys one by one which operator tends to try the hardest and take casual games ultra seriously, I bet you would answer the impact grenade using spawn peaking Caviar that acts like she's playing in the Olympics. But in my brain, I see three main strategies that could potentially throw Jackal for a loop and make sure his special ability is absolutely useless. Number one, what if everyone just runs around like a bunch of preschoolers at recess at the start of the round and creates so many footprints that Jackal has no way of making sense of where people actually went? It's almost like seeing a dot plot graph with trillions of points on it. Sure, I have tons of data, but I have no idea what the fuck to do with it. Number two, what about worming? Yeah, if Gray, Lamau, and I are just worming our way around the map, is it still gonna leave footprints? Or will it leave like a big smear trail where we went? Or will it leave nothing at all? Maybe that's the new meta. Instead of everyone walking backwards, it'll be everyone proning around the map like a worm. That'll be fun. And number three, what if everyone just runs to a room unrelated to the objective and rigs it up to be the world's largest booby trap? Like all the footprints lead to some tiny room that's filled with frost traps and Capcom wires and our Lord and Savior ready to take your head off. Whatever the case may be, I'm pretty damn excited to try Jackal out, but my prediction is that he's gonna be useless. Very fun to play against and fool around with, but useless. Maybe he and Montaigne can somehow become an unstoppable duo if he can constantly block bullets with Jackal slowly tracing where everyone went. Speaking of which, people seem to really hate me when I play Montaigne now. <laughs> I think he found it pretty funny until I clutched his buddies three versus one. Flawless victory. We won the battle, but the war is. Nope, nope, we won that too. And even though I do love outright blocking people in with Montaigne and annoying people to the point where they leave me alone and I can run off with the hostage, I'm finally starting to see what you guys are talking about when it comes to some of the nonsense that goes on with the game. Of course I love Rainbow Six, but I think the majority of the game's problems arise from two different players seeing two different things on their screens. For example, here's what I see on my screen. And apparently, here's what he saw on his screen. 
Oh, what the fuck ever? Understandably, I think that's extremely silly because if you look at the freeze frame of Valkyrie when she kills me, I'm clearly standing behind her with my shield up, so how could she have possibly shot me unless she's able to curve bullets like she's Angelina Jolie and wanted? I also find it pretty hilarious that in Valkyrie's bio, she's listed as a Navy SEAL because after doing some brief fact checking, there are no female Navy SEALs. Nope. They don't exist. There has never been a woman Navy SEAL, so... Immersion broken. Also, I'm a little triggered that Blackbeard's beard isn't actually black. IQ has a bachelor's from MIT and a PhD in electrical engineering from Caltech, but above all else, the fuse lore is the very best. Like, under the notes section, it specifically states, while not a likely candidate for a squad leadership position, oh, I wonder why. Hostage was killed. Using the hostage has gotten so bad and casual, teammates will outright TK you immediately if they see you placing a cluster charge on any window that's even remotely close to the hostage. Team killer. And that's about it. I want to thank you very much for watching. Be sure to tune in next time when I drink enough monster to... Kill a water buffalo. <laughs>